Hello, I'm here today to show you how to use the IPSW file that you might have downloaded offline or are going to download offline to jailbreak your iPod or uh, update your iPod. When I'm saying update, I mean if you have the 2 point something firmware on your iPod Touch or iPhone, you could, you could use this little cheat to upgrade to the 3 point something firmware without paying the extra $15. So let me show you how. First, you should open up your web browser. Mozilla or Internet Firefox. Mozilla is recommended while and Safari does not work. If you try it on Safari, it will not work since it does something. I've tried it. So when you go on, uh, type this in. I touch IPSW 3.1 or you can, you can also even touch iPhone. Just type this in and then the first link should be this. It should say flexibrunes.d slash iPod slash firmware. This is a good website. Click it. And now uh, you're probably with the iPhone section, so you can just scroll down and it has iPhone and also at the same time iPod, iPod Touch, including the iPod Touch 3G. Now just find what version you're, uh, what generation you're using, and then locate the firmware update you want. So right now I'm using a 2G iPod, and I want the 3.1 firmware, so I'll download this one. And it's already been you click download it, and you click save file. But as you can see, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to skip this part. Then after you're done downloading, you can close your web browser and now open up iTunes with your iPod. Now you should see this screen. And first of all, you should back up all your data, and which it should automatically do. Or if it doesn't, you could click encrypt iPod backup or sync it or something like that. But then you see this button right here where it says restore. Click restore while holding shift. So, shift restore and then this should pop up now you can manu manually select the IPSW that you downloaded mine is in downloads and as you can see it is right there iPod uh, 1 3.127 D11 restore 243 243 MB and you double click it and then it should start and I'm not going to do it right now because you know I'm just bored and want to make this video and I'm not going to go through all the trouble of erasing all my stuff so thanks for watching and well now you can do your own little thing